surprise me very much. I knew he was ready for the commitment when he put an ad in the paper a couple years ago. It said, it said wife wanted. Unfortunately, all I got was letters from husband saying that you can have mine. <laughs> From the first time that Nick brought America, you never seen him so Twitter painting, googly eyed, and all we lost him from that point. Yeah. Nick was a tinker toy in a bag full of Legos, and he finally found his perfect match. So from that point on, it didn't take very long to leave the bachelor castle of dirty dishes for a much better smelling life. <laughs> I want to thank you for giving me the honor of being your best man tonight. Your friendship has made my life better every day. I know that you can make the rest of Erica's night live and wonderful. So you have to take care of him for me. Please drink with all of us because we love you. Cheers. fortunate enough to be at the hospital when my niece Erica Kelly was born at Desert Smart Hospital. And she's truly a uh, bright light in my life. And as I said to her today when we were walking down the aisle, I said, don't be nervous. Your dad is uh, on the side of you. You two guys are without a doubt one of the most beautiful couples I've ever seen. Yeah. Always be true to one another. Always love one another. Never, ever, ever leave the house and hide at one another. Have strong, great kids. Okay? And your mother your mother, and of course your mother, Roseanne, who I love dearly, will always be there for you. Never turn your back on them or your parents. But remember one thing, we all love you, and we're all there for you. And I love you both very much. Thank <laughs> you. 
And um, and then when my dad got sick, that's when things got really tough for me. But she kept it together the whole time. And I think at that point I realized she wasn't my little sister. I mean, she had grown up to be this amazing, strong woman. And I admired that. And I, every day I see something I admire her. From the way she takes care of my daughter. When she told, when she met Matt, Nick, I, she said, you know, he's the one. And it was like a few months, and I thought, are you sure? And then I met him, and, you know, she was right. I couldn't disagree with her. The overprotective sister wanted to find something. But that's what I could have. And I see you guys together, and you're so happy, and you make everybody happy, and Nick's laugh makes everybody laugh. <laughs>
You don't plan a wedding. The couple does not plan a wedding. The mothers are the head of the body who plan the wedding. So when people say, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Oh, that's nice. That's cool. Um, that is strictly due. And uh, there's one, it's all the mothers. Uh, thank you for helping us make this day happen. This is the best day of my life. I'm so happy that each and every one of you are here. Um, I'm so excited. And there's just... Uh, I'm not going to ramble on because I've already shared enough emotions tonight, so I'll uh, stop because Paul says some great words. And, but there is one more person I would like to thank. Um, above everyone else, above my best man, my the mothers, my brother, who has done so much for me, I want to thank my wife. My process oh my gosh she has worked so hard staying up till two in the morning and a lot of the other married couple here knows but she put so much time and energy and blood and sweat and love into this wedding and she, I said how can I help and she gave me tasks like make sure you get a tux uh, be there at three gotcha I can do that oh my gosh she made the best day for me happen and Thank you so much. I love you so much. <laughs>